This is a quick uh, overview of the Dolphin 4 estimating system. So here in front of you, you see a list of all your quotes and jobs. Now this list can be filtered and grouped any way you like. So for example, at the moment it's split into, into jobs and quotes. So I could uh, maybe, let's say, group it by customer. So now I see for each customer their jobs. Um, so how many jobs I've got for each customer and the value of those jobs. And I can zoom into any one of those to get the details. Now I can also um, filter. For example, I only want to see the documents for a particular customer. I can filter down like that. And now if I want to, for example, look for all my business card quotes, maybe I can do something like this. Or maybe I just want to see all the quotes and jobs for February. So I can go to February and just select all the days. And there I've got all my quotes and jobs for February. So very easy to just find your jobs and quotes. So um, I'll quickly show you uh, how to do a, a new quote from scratch. So if I plus, I get a new blank quote in my list. So Dolphin, you can actually do, we've got specialized sections for signage or wide format. And then for your litho digital um, screen printing, we've got a specialized section. And then for labels and packaging, so Flexo and that type of thing, we've got a special special section just for that. So let me show you a litho slash digital quote. So maybe a magazine. So on a, on a quote, we'll select a customer. There's a contact person at that customer, and then you can link a rep to, to a client and so on. The Dolphin's very customizable. We can have, have lots of categories and things for you, um, to your system. That's not an issue. All right, so let's go up to the total year and let's select a magazine. Um, so for a magazine, I've already linked a cover section and a text section. So if we go add there, we'll use, so now I can um, enter my quantity here. So let's say 1,000 magazines. And now in Dolphin, you can have as many quantities as you like. So let's add two more. So let's get the price for 2,000 magazines and also the price for 3,000 magazines. All right. So you'll see on my cover, I've already selected a paper and I've already selected my digital press. So that uh, calculation is almost done for me, except I didn't specify a size for my magazine. So if I specify a size, let's say A4. There we go. So now that will calculate. So you'll see a price already there on my cover section. So that's now for 3,000 magazines that are showing there. If I go up to the 1,000, then uh, that's the price for a thousand. So let's go down to the text section. So I'll go in, select the paper, so you can see how that works. So maybe we want a 120 GSM paper. Um, so let's select that one out of our list. And you'll see, so that gets added to my quote, and now I can add my press. So since we've done the cover on digital machine, let's do the text maybe on LiFo machine. So I'll just select the machine. Let's say it's going to be a process colors, so I'll select process, add. Now that's already selected to print both sides. And that's basically it. So now all my um, calculations are done. So you'll see there's a price there for each quantity. And this, so this has worked out for me that I can do a 16-page section on this press of mine and with the stock size that I've selected. Um, if this magazine had more pages, maybe it was a 64 pager, I can tell the system that and then it'll say, okay, now I have to do four repeats of this section. You also see it's worked out the um, overs for me that I require. So that's already worked out for you. Your printing price is here, your plates are worked out, and also your guillotining. So pre cutting to fit to the press and the, the trimming afterwards if required. Um, we can quickly have a look at the finishing tab. So if we go over to finishing here, um, so you'll see that my the, the folding for my cover was already linked, so that's here. Maybe I want to fold the, um, the uh, text section as well, so I can go select the text section and then select folding for that text section. So I'll add that quickly. And then um, maybe Maybe we want to do uh, the binding, so maybe perfect binding, something like that. 
So I can go search in my list of finishings. It's perfect binding. Let's add that. And now I've got a price for perfect binding. You see, system automatically did things like it knows that there's 4,000 um, copies to, to fold for your text section because there's four sections. But for your um, cover, there's only 1,000 to fold. And then there's only 1,000 books to buy. And that's obviously looking at the 1,000 quantity up here. If I went to the 3,000 quantity, I would see the calculations for that and the pricing for that. So our plates are here. They've all been included. And then if we go to our dispatch section here, we can choose maybe packing this into boxes. So if, we, if I just chose a, a carton here, let's see. So there's the packing into boxes. I can just put a quantity per pack. So if I put, uh, 10 magazines in a box. So you'll see by default, Jed's worked out 34 packs. So that's based on a, on a weight. So a minimum weight or maximum weight, actually, per pack. If I, were, if I say 10... 10 books in a pack, it will recalculate that to be 100 packs, and then I can have a packing cost. Yeah, so that's a quick overview of um, how you can get a quote into Dolphin. If I now go want to send this to my customer, I can hit print up here and just pick a quotation letter. And then, so this is a fully customizable quotation letter, but you can see it's automatically made up a description for me. So it says cover printed on this material, caliber size, the folding, and the text, and so on. And then it gives me a quantity here with a price for each quantity. And you can separate out some of the costs if you want. So in this case, the, the packaging and the design costs have been separated out. So um, again, as I said, this letter is entirely customizable. So if the customer then ordered this from you, you can convert this to a job. So hit the Convert to Job button. Um, at that point, you can enter an order number. You can maybe say what the required date is for this job. So the required date will be used by the production planning system. So let's say the customer ordered the 2,000 quantity. And they gave us an order number, maybe. And I'll say Print. So that will generate a job bag for me that I can send through my factory. And you'll notice that this has a barcode at the top. So, so that's um, for the production tracking system. So you can actually track the job through all the stations in your press, in your, in your, uh, on your production floor. All right. Um, so now that we've generated a job, this is independent from the quote. So we can make changes here, and it doesn't affect the quote. So if you want to print it on a different machine to what you've quoted. Now, the job now goes into our production system from where you can do your invoices, your delivery notes, your stock control, and so on. So I'll make a separate vi video to uh, show you the production system.